hello 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 welcome to conversations with the empress i am the empress and um i am on a special vacation edition of my restaurant review and today we are at a place called the hot fish club and it's supposed to be outstanding i cannot wait to try this place in another state a different vibe so it's going to be awesome let's go check them out the hot fish club you guys the hot fish club sounds delightful if you ask me but we'll see this place is so beautiful i know the food is going to be so good we have to wait an hour and i didn't even care because i can just sit out here in this beautifulness so beautiful how beautiful We're, at, we're in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. This is about 40 minutes from Myrtle Beach where we were at. And this is where you wait for your table. Like, you cannot beat this. It's beautiful. Look at that sky. You see all them colors and stuff? I need this in my life on a regular. I got to start traveling more. This is so beautiful. Yeah, so y'all know this meal about to be lit. And even if it ain't, this view is worth the drive. Hot Fish Club, you guys. Let's see what it's all about. So, this is the menu for the Hot Fish Club. Might have to do piece by piece because it's so damn big. As you can see, they have so many things. I cannot wait to really look this thing over. Sandwiches. Here's the history of the Hot Fish Club. They've been here since 1792. That's a long time. I'm definitely excited to try this. I'm going to talk about this little buttered roll. They have their own little herb butter that they serve their rolls with, and the roll came out hot on the table. <laughs> yes. the fact that you can never get real blue cheese at a restaurant in New Jersey. You come down south and this blue cheese is thick and decadent like they just made it. That's real blue cheese. Okay. I have some blue cheese snobby friends in my life. You know who you are. <laughs> but it was worth the interruption. She's not a fan, which means I have to eat it. Which I'm not going to eat it. The bread is a little hard, but I don't know if that's normal. 
up for the best because I've never had a crustini before. Mm. I love a scallop though. Any way you cook a scallop, I'm eating. <laughs> These calamari strips that my friend don't like. <laughs> oh, thank you. Anything she don't like, she can pass right over here. Look at this calamari. Have y'all ever seen a calamari this thick and juicy? <laughs> she ain't gotta eat them. I'll take care of that. Look at that chicken glistening. Chicken? No, what is it? That's fish. fish. Well, it's glistening. Okay, so I almost forgot I had to record this for y'all because. This is one of them things where I love to just be by myself and eat this, but this is lobster pot pie, and this is puff pastry crust, and it's really good and delightful. Mm -hmm. Yes, very velvety, buttery, creamy. Hint the seafood flavor. Then you know you dip it, you gotta dip it up in the juices and shit. You gotta dip it. This is a shrimp, a, a scrimp looking all good and mm -hmm. Yes, I'm gonna talk all about this in the review at the end, but. Right now, I got to go. Okay, so let's talk about it, right? I am stuffed to the fucking brim off of this hot fish club. And then, you know, she came around and asked for dessert if we want dessert. And I wasn't gonna get dessert because I'm stuffed. But guess what the first thing she said on the list? Key lime pie. And y'all know how I feel about key lime pie. And I'm in South Carolina, so I had to order key lime pie. I'll let you know how it is. I already have a standard at a restaurant in um, North Jersey, so, but we in South Carolina, so they better show up and show out, okay? So let's talk about um, the Hot Fish Club in Mueller, Mueller's Inlet, South Carolina. Okay, so there was another restaurant we were, fish, we were supposed to go to to do the food review um, in actual Myrtle Beach where we're staying, but it was a buffet, and I really didn't want to do a buffet for the review, so you know coming out here for this timeshare presentation with this vacation i didn't buy a timeshare but the lady actually had suggested this restaurant when i told her about my youtube channel so hot fish club was a beautiful place as far as like the ambiance outside the view in the back was beautiful you know when we pulled up and we went in they said it was a 45 minutes to an hour wait which normally i would be like oh no i'm not waiting but i really want to try this restaurant and also it's a beautiful place where you wait it's like right in the inlet so it's all water and uh bird life and place for you to just sit down they had a live band there they had the outside gazebo very country style very warm and friendly it was like one of those type of places you just didn't want to leave like it was nice so once we get in we get our table very very courteous staff friendly people um I ended up ordering this scallop crostini as my appetizer, which was a special that night. And I ordered their most popular uh, entree, which is the lobster pot pie, okay? My homegirl ordered some type of fish sampler and then like a hot fish platter or something like that, blackened style. Um, she enjoyed her food. She said she would give hers about an eight or a nine. 
um you know we're both kind of like seafood snobs because we grew up in south jersey like near the shore and having some of the best seafood in the world in that area you know it sets the bar high for seafood for us um the crostini was delicious it had two scallops on top and it had like a balsamic type of glaze with like little baby tomatoes very italian very light and fresh type of uh, uh appetizer the only complaint i had with the crostini was that the bread was a little tough um tough to cut and tough to chew a little bit okay other than that it was great all right um the lobster pot pie was delicious it was in this light cream sauce um the puff pastry was perfectly cooked flaky buttery hot crunchy soft it was just great um my only thing with the lobster pot pie is that i thought it would have more veggies in it than what it did um not that i'm complaining it was packed full of seafood i just was expecting more veggies um it was delicious okay it was delicious <laughs> to say the least um okay so service food excellent here's my drawbacks okay um I didn't I, I thought that the food was a little overpriced just because like I'm a seafood head and like certain things I feel like were overpriced like the crostini you got four scallops in that and they were charging you like $15 for that um I felt like that was overpriced for what you got the, the scallops weren't that big okay and I knew they weren't because when I opened up my lobster pot pie there was huge lump scallops in there and those were huge okay so it was a little overpriced. I felt like the pot pie was a little overpriced too for for what you got. Um, and I feel like it's ridiculous to have things overpriced in this area because there's a seafood place on every freaking corner, like everywhere, you know? That was my only complaint. My only complaint was the price. And also, oh, so when it came time for dessert, you know, I wasn't gonna get dessert because I was stuffed. But when she listed dessert, the first dessert she said was key lime pie. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all have key lime pie. I have to order dessert. So now I'm excited for key lime pie. She then comes back to me and says, oh, we're out of key lime pie. So that kind of let me down. So um, that was a drawback. Um, I thought the food was excellent. Not the best seafood I've ever had in my life, but definitely far from the worst. Um, it was... I feel like the setting and the outdoor area just was so great like also our server was wonderful she asked us if we wanted dessert she asked us if we wanted separate checks like none of that sloppy stuff that I'd be telling you about about restaurants back in Jersey when I do my reviews um so hot fish club of murals inlet South Carolina my final synopsis my final rating nine out of ten which is very respectable lower your prices and i might make it a ten <laughs> but um yeah it was a great experience i really didn't want to leave they had live band going on when we was getting ready to leave and it was just a really beautiful place hot fish club mueller's inlet south carolina nine out of ten if you like this show you want to see more like it Please go like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until we meet again, smooches. Mm -hmm.